Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. It's the second. It's Penny's birthday. So we've got to go say uh, happy birthday to Penny. Now, uh, let's go and water up all of our coffee crops here. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're looking good here. Uh, we got the shed underway. We've got our um, resin supply all automated, so that's going to just take care of itself. So the quarry's kind of spoken for, but again, it, not a big deal, because if I ever need space, I can always put in the, uh, whatever, that, the giant expansion. Yeah, that's looking good. Very good. Yeah, so some of that stuff, I guess the cheese doesn't take that long. While we're at it, let's go and, uh, Sorry, farmhouse, mountain, town, beach, cellar. Uh, oh, I see. Deluxe barn. They have not produced today. Okay. Take my mayonnaise. I don't think we want to age that. Age mayonnaise is one of my least favorite things. What do we have here? Nothing. Good. Okay, Robin's doing fine. Oh, I left my, brought my coffee out. We don't want this. So at, uh, at some point I will take, uh, um, those kegs and stuff out. I've got to clear out the house as much as possible. Now, cellar mayonnaise there. Yeah, Robin's doing good. Uh, speaking of, uh, you know, I don't even know that, I, I didn't, there we go, I'm done with Robin. We've, we've gifted Robin up. I've got George. Still needs a few. Demetrius needs a few. Um, Pam. Yeah, Pam should be easy. I should be able to just go up and give her a person every day at the bus stop. Um, well, we're almost there with Victor. That's amazing. Uh, Sophia as well. We've moved along really well. So, um, a lot of the characters are quite far along. Even Olivia is like five hearts in. So, it's uh, all of our dating options have opened up really quickly here. It's nice. I, I normally am terrible, I find, at the uh, the gifting dating portion of the game, of any of these. Uh, like it's it's the last part I end up always dealing with. I, I like the uh, the questing and the event. Oh, I'll cut all of our trees, too. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So there's six, so there's enough for another couple of each, and then one mystery. There might be other trees, although we could put a banana tree and uh, we could, yeah, we could do the whole gang out here. Uh, I don't even know what I want to do with all of this space now. <laughs> so we'll get our second shed going. That'll be perfect. Uh, how? Oh, they, the my, okay, they are still smelting. I was like, how are they not smelting? They are. Just got the expensive stuff in the way. It's going to be that iridium we got to get through. Um, we can make eight more kegs, but again, those are going to fill up fast, I think. Let's see now how our mountain... Yeah, see, we're already getting... So you get all the seeds as well. That's ridiculous. That's really, really cool. So what am I looking at now for tappers? Wood. It's just wood. I can make, uh, another 18 tappers or something. I just need to go and get a pile of wood. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, let's go and get some wood. And then uh, we'll go and give uh, Penny a gift as well, if we can remember. Hello, gang. All right, let's uh, also have a coffee because I'm moving terrifyingly slow here. It's the Penny and the kids having a learning moment. Perfect timing that you showed up. Uh-oh. I brought the children on a little bit field trip into the countryside. You know, all about the life in the country, right? So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? I'd love it. Great. Let me just call the children over. I, You know, I can no longer... I think I may have said this in the last time I saw this cutscene. I can no longer see a cutscene like this without thinking... 
forever ago about that scene in Mad Men when they go and have their, their little picnic. They drive to a, a nice, beautiful park and they have a picnic, and at the end of it, they pick up their picnic blanket and they just swoosh the garbage onto the park and walk away. And that, that scene has burned itself into my head because it was, it was so funny. And it was such such an emblematic thing of that time period, that feeling, that idea of like, well, it's whatever. But it also just the upper class arrogance, I guess, or upper middle class arrogance. It was just is uh, every time I see a picnic blanket, I now think of that scene, and I can't not think of that scene. Jazz Vincent, may I have your attention, please? I have a very special guest here to talk to you today for to our uh, our very own local farmer. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good, that's worth two star points. Yes. Okay, now let's give uh, the farmer our full attention. Oh, country life is, what did I say? The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. The air and grass are perfect for raising animals. We're gonna go with vegetables. It's Vincent. Uh, farmer, if I eat your veggies while I grow up strong like my brother Sam, he's so strong. I saw him left Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. <laughs> Vincent, it's not good to gossip. I just have a hard time imagining her dating Sam. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. I know too many teachers, and they're all middle-aged, so it's, it's weird. I don't view teachers as 20-year-olds, or, or whatever she would be. I mean, she couldn't be that old. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn, and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Uh, would you ever want to be a parent? I haven't really thought about it. Absolutely. I'm a big family. I guess so. It's a natural urge. No, I don't think I'd be good at it. No, I think the world's crowded enough. No, I don't want to be tied down with a family. Let's just see if we haven't really thought about it. Oh no, well I guess that makes sense. You're busy with other things right now. I'm busy raising my cows and chickens and pigs and goats and whatever else I've got going on. My void hen. I'm glad you showed up. The kids had a great time. Alright. It's a funny cutscene. Uh, let's take out some trees now. Since I no longer care about any of this. It is all just part of my my economy, as Jazz pointed out so thoughtfully. It's funny when you have cutscenes like that, and it feels like you've just lost half your day, but you haven't. I always feel like I'm like, oh, well, the day's shot now. When really we've got like forever left. else wants to be cut down. Come on. Oh, I... <laughs> That's a cool one. How are you doing, Dolores? The Chris Bear. Uh, I just can't enjoy it as much as I used to. Uh, I missed the first part of what she said. Oh my gosh. Stop hitting buttons too quick. This is going Dolores. is good. Good cutscene. Good okay, cutscene. Good dialogue. I love the... Uh, these little changes though, it's such nice little surprises when you run into stuff that you're like, hadn't previous, previously known about in the game. It really does make the game feel so new. Those little things. It's a great little animation. I love all the, uh, the, the work that all the modders have put in. Um, truly amazing. It's mind-blowing how well they've, they've taken this beloved thing and like made it their own but did it in such a respectful way and coherent way made it really work it's not just you know doom mods and st like it's, it's not just weird stuff right it's it's stuff that just makes the game so much better um, it really does i mean it's i I, th I think it's actually it's hard to imagine improving the game but it really does which is, uh, I think, a remarkable thing. I can think you can... Some stuff can be quality of life things. But I think we've gone so far past that. So it's, yeah, it's lovely. It's amazing. I think devoting so much of your time to it, you know, is, uh, is quite a thing. And basically just living off of donations. 
or the uh, not living off of, but like just getting donations for your time and stuff as well. Um, yeah, it would be lovely, as I said pretty previously, it, I'd love to see some of the modded stuff make its way <clears throat> into either um, a newer version of, you know, a, a, a sequel or something of the like. If there was ever such a thing, I would really hope it employs uh, a lot of the people working on this stuff, because so so much talent. But again, that's that's just me. Um, yeah, I can't imagine having uh, you know, committing so much free time to this. Like not because I wouldn't want to, but because I can't imagine how much work this is doing uh, this kind of modding. It's got to be a significant time investment. And then updating it, which they do constantly. That's what pulls me away as well. Okay, I don't even know how much tree I've gotten, but I've maybe enough. Let's stop for the moment. I'm gonna be running out of coffee soon here. Wanna go and help. What are you doing there, Tree? Tree's just like doing one of those looking around hoping nobody's noticed. Where are you going? Oh, is it the time again? Once again, I've forgotten to eat. Now, Dolores, what did you like? Um, she hates coffee. I knew it. <laughs> okay, so she's a health nut. So if I'm gonna give, I'm gonna go gift in her stuff. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go gift in her some stuff. What am I gonna gift her? Um, like like gift her an orange or something. Maybe she would like something like that. Okay, here we go. That's going to take care of most of my inventory. I think you'll put this to good use. Okay, she didn't hate it. Hey Sam, do you want to hang out or something? Uh, I've got to go see your girlfriend. I've got to give her a birthday present because you probably forgot. Do 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 do. I shouldn't mock him. What is she doing out there? She got some plans. It looks like building something cool. Oh. Here he says, "Louis, you can't ignore me forever. We need to talk." I'm very busy. Here we can talk another time. I have to. If I have to go. If you want to talk to me, please make an appointment. But this is important. I said I'm busy. Please, just, uh, we'll talk later. Oh, that was an angry face. Oh boy. Louis had some rage. Wow, okay. So let's uh let's see here. Um My apologies if I seem short of temper, apparent my drink didn't procure a mouse last night and it threw a whole household into utmost chaos. I barely slept a wink. Alright. Somebody's gotta to talk to this Baron Munchington character. Seems like a little bit of a stinker. What do we have here for quests? Reducing the crab menace. Aggressive crabs are surfacing at night across the escarp. Oh yeah, we can do this. Uh yeah, I like that. Oh my dude. Are we done gifting him? Yeah we are. Hey Gus. I smell I sell different dishes each week, so make sure and check in every now and again. Happy birthday. I had a feeling you would bring me something wonderful. This is fantastic. Thanks for making my field trip a success today. I think that she remembers that. I love presents. Thank you. Thanks. This is wicked. Uh, thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, boy. You don't... Yeah, I can't gift you things. Um... Vincent. 
Okay, now I'm, I feel like I've already pretty much totally friended up with all of them. Oh no, not with Vincent. Huh. Can you keep a secret? I want to marry Miss Penny when I grow up. Mm -hmm. You can play with my dolls if you want to. Just make sure to brush your hair when they're done. Jez is my best friend in the whole world, even if she mostly wants to play with dolls. <laughs> you, you, your brother and you are going to have some competition. You realize this, right? Oh, hold up. If, uh, Avril, we're scared and cold. Will you stay with us? Avril looks worried. Just don't tell her, okay? Wow, that's a, that's a dark... <laughs> Okay, uh... George, got something for you here. Here's my favorite thing, thank you. Huh, looks like another gloomy day out there. Oh, I like that, uh... She's hanging out with uh, the fam. How are y'all doing? Let's go see the Richingtons here. My dear. This is so thoughtful of you, sweetie. Thankful. The beauty of the yoga is enhancing... Beauty of yoga is enhancing flexibility it gives you. Working the fields on your farm can certainly keep your muscles toned too. Yeah, it's not a problem with the the crushing uh, the amounts of... Your house is too big, okay? Did anyone ever tell you your house is just, like, seriously too big? I can't even. <laughs> it's too much for me to take in. Shane, what's up? Life isn't so bad, at least I have frozen eggs. Pizza and eggs. Hey, Juliet. You know what's really your color? Why not try some fun, like neon orange or me meth purple <laughs> or something? That's a that's a hair color. Hey, this is great. I like it. That's a good sprite. Meth purple. Am I, I feel like I'm misreading it when I see that. Martin. I like this. Thanks. My mom always says manners are key. I try my best to be polite to everyone. Morris. Here's a cuppa. This is delightful. Today has been dreadfully busy for me, cleaning up the mess my staff made. I wish I could dine on Lobster Bisque at this moment. Perhaps I'll visit my favorite five-star restaurant in the city this week. So Lobster Bisque is what you're saying. Huh. I'm never going to remember that, dude. But, you know, crazy. That's uh, good to know. Okay. Hey, dude. If you're giving this to me, it's great. I'm having a dilemma with the project I'm coding. It has to do with the compiling error. I love troubleshooting problems. It just means there's something concrete to fix and work on. Um, let's do this. Yeah, I'll just dump the whole lot in there. I don't really care. Alright, and then we're going to go and get ourselves some, uh, some of these crabs that they've been talking about. That are giving all the gaff. Let's go and see. I don't know how many of them I need to get. 50 crabs? <laughs> okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't read the vine print on that one. Alright, let's do this. How are you? There's a lot of little trails around here. Follow them and you never know where you might end up. Well, I, I already know where I'm gonna end up. It's gonna be trouble, probably. Let's have a little walk around here. Now, I don't know if these uh, little crabby buddies, how they spawn in. Um, uh, we'll find out. They do, they mostly seem to be like around town here, don't they? right in, in this area. I don't know, I'm going to be paying attention. Oh, and i got to give uh, th this dude a gift too. I saw he's on the bottom of my list. Oh, he's asleep. Alright, well, you do sleep, and I'm, I'm going to go monster hunting here. Is there seriously nothing around here yet? Hey dog, let me know if you see anything trying to eat you, okay? Ah, here we go. Um, 
Oh. Yeah, I wonder how these things spawn in. Okay, you can get in my backpack now. I mean, at the worst case, I'm going to have 50 crabs, which is not bad. That's an alright thing. I'm going to take them. But, finding 50 in down here, I don't know. Oh, thought you were a crab there for a minute. Be careful. How's it going, Mia? My job is actually uh, lets me stay home for the long periods I do. I help a company oversee their carbon cropping and crop sustainability in Grampleton to an industrial level, of course. We spend a long period of time at home and others in Grampleton. Okay, so... Okay, here's another one. That's two. Okay, do they like spawn in more around here? figure out where I'm... Okay, this turkey. I wonder if there are more of them that tend to spawn in back here. No, but there is a lot back there. I mean, we're, we're five. How long? Do, sorry. Oh. Got 13 days, so it's doable. But that's still a lot. Uh, you gotta pay attention just to how, how spawning works though, like... Do I need to leave the screen to get more spawning, or do they just keep spawning in naturally? I have no idea. Let's, let's try that. Let's get out of the screen here. It's getting late. I'd like to get one more, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, that might be it. We might just have to come out every night and, and get like our little uh, quota. Yeah, no more there. There is probably more though down by the beach and stuff here, isn't there? Sorry, dude, I'm occupied. Oh, okay. Nope. All right, well, then that might work out. Um, again, it does feel kind of random. I feel like I've seen them all over the place, but if we know that there's a, the bulk of them are in that one area, we'll just do that. Hey, Sterling, I'd love to have a tour of your farm someday. Maybe I could take you over a for exchange, make a fun day out of it. Oh, thank you for really thinking of me. You didn't have to. Yeah, you probably don't want to eat that right now, because, you know, it is one in the morning. Morris getting home nice and early, one in the morning. It's like he's running a startup. It's bananas. Dude. You too, Robin. Okay, let's put this away. Put these away. I guess we'll put the crab in the house. Oh, no, not there. There we go. So I've got like 20 crab. Yeah, I've got to get some other stuff going. I do have one strawberry. One lonely strawberry. Um, and we got Penny her birthday gift, so that was pretty good. And then we got a few days that are pretty free here. All right, we'll see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.